Hi there, Mark from CEM Engineering and Energy Radio, and this is your Energy News Update. In this week's headlines, solar and wind's competitiveness over coal is accelerating, analyst shows. Electric vehicles and renewables will need a dramatic rise in mineral supply, IEA warns. How Spot, the robot dog, is set to patrol the world's dangerous industrial sites. China's emissions now exceed all the developed worlds combined. Thank you, Mark, and welcome to this week's edition of Energy News. On May 6th, Ontario's Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry, John Yakubuski, released Ontario's Draft Forest Biomax Action Plan, which falls out of an earlier commitment launched in August of 2020 under the province's Sustainable Growth Forest Sector Strategy. Among the commitments was a commitment to develop a forest biomass strategy to help improve the provincial forest industry's cost competitiveness by maximizing the use of mill byproducts and enabling the province to reduce the need for more carbon-intensive fuels. The province's draft plan was drafted in conjunction with Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry, the Ministry of Energy, Northern Development and Mines, and the Forest Sector Advisory Committee. The Draft Forest Biomass Action Plan describes actions Ontario proposes to take to support the use of forest biomass, specifically mill byproducts and forest biofiber, over the course of five years. The draft plan has several objectives, including the improvement of business and regulatory environments for the use of forest biomass, as well as the support for Indigenous community involvement in forest biomass value chains to support reconciliation between Indigenous communities and the Crown. In other news, the Ontario Energy Board has approved PUC Distribution Inc.'s application that will see it build the first community-wide smart grid project in Canada. The $34 million endeavour will be the largest project in PUC's 100-plus year history and has been on the books and in the planning stages for about seven years. The smart grid system scheduled to be completed by the end of 2020 has been called a game changer not just for the Sault Ste. Marie, but for how the project is expected to impact other utilities across the country. The smart grid will broaden PUC's service offerings to clients, increase reliability, efficiency and resiliency of their local electric network, and provide a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by about 2,804 tonnes of CO2 annually. My name is Lisa Barber and this was this week's edition of Energy News. Wishing everyone a safe week and back to you Mark. For more information on these stories, make sure to check out our LinkedIn profile, they'll all be posted there. Thanks for joining us on Energy News, and as always, power your purpose.